hello. Let me give you a quick rundown of my last two weeks. Okay, so opening day happened, I fished with Jeff the first two days, and then I was straight into a week of guiding. On the last day of guiding, I started to feel like I had a bit of a sore throat. Cue a week of man flu. I'm surprised I even pulled through. After that, we then had ship weather, some more ship weather, some more ship weather, and we are actually basically still in the middle of that ship weather. In fact, it's just starting to rain now. Anyway, I really, really need to fish because I'm getting grumpy. A lot of the rivers are up, blown out, kind of would be hard work. So I thought, well, I'm gonna grab Loopy here. I'm gonna drag her up to this lake and strip some streamers around, try and pick up a couple of fish, and then hopefully just, you know, get some fishing in. It's not gonna be very nice, so I don't think there's gonna be much B-roll. They're supposed to get super windy later as well. I'm the only one here by the looks of it, which is pretty sweet. There's probably gonna be a lot of GoPro footage today just because it's gonna be raining and I don't like getting my camera wet. I'm gonna put the boat in the water, get set up, and I'll uh, see you guys out there. So I did, I did bring my uh, Stillwater uh, Camo Intermediate line specifically to use today, um, but I'm pretty sure I left it in the truck. So looks like I'm running that uh, floating line after all. I've got a couple of sink tips with me, so if I really do need to get down, I can always, um, yeah, add a sonar sink tip. But I'm going to start off just with the floating line because I mean. When I'm fishing around these weed beds, which I kind of want to be doing, I want to fish around the weed beds and also like the channels between them and stuff. So I think I'd be able to get away with it. I'm going to start off just with the plain floating line. I don't know if you can see down here, but like the top of this weed's only a few feet under the surface. I think that'd be fun. Just going to run um, like I do with my nymph rig, just a little bit of 12 pounds as a step down, like that much. Then I'll make a uh, perfection loop in the top of that. Well, right on cue, as soon as I get out here, it starts raining. That's why you're seeing this on the GoPro and not the main camera. Okay, then I'm just gonna blood knot, just like I do with my nymph rigs, any leader tippet combination. I'm a blood knot kind of guy. Like actually, even though it's kind of shitty conditions for like me and filming, Actually quite good conditions for this lake. A little bit of a ripple, overcast, rainy, yeah. I'm going with about a, a rod length of lead. Don't think I need any more than that. Not, not in these conditions anyway. All right, streamers. Um, I'm gonna go something with just a little bit of weight, just like a little bead head. And this is also really cool as well. Just, just basic, man, like nothing flash. Just a woolly bugger with ooh, this thing here, like a woolly bugger with just a bead. It's great, it's a great fly. Um, so I'll start off with that, I think. It's not too big, like maybe a size 10. And then just see, see what happens. So uh, yeah, little woolly bugger, barbless as always. Six weight Q, um, this is a loop, multi, light thing. I don't know, it's super old, but still good. Uh, scientific anglers. I think this is a mastery trout, six weight line, floating. Uh, 2x step down, about that long. And then a rod length of 3x, absolute tippet, their new stuff, to a woolly bugger with a bead. About as simple as it gets as far as streaming fishing goes. Oh yeah, that's got a bad ass, bad ass. All right, so what I'm gonna do now I'm going to turn this off and then just start drifting that way and uh, just start covering some water and uh, seeing what happens.
about time, mate. Oh, it's come off. You son of a bitch. Well, it was pretty good to uh, feel the fish. I actually thought it was a way to start. Just because, well, that's all I felt all day. But it was a fish. Good fish too. Good rainbow. fish and that was worth every every second I didn't realize how big it was until I got it in the net I wonder why I just couldn't get the head up and uh, yeah shit what a fish yes boom Day is saved. Two fish to the boat, one lost, and I feel like maybe as the uh, afternoon's going on, maybe uh, things are just kind of coming alive a little bit. This is the guy that's been doing it. I don't know if that's going to focus or not, probably not. But yeah, just a woolly bugger, clap and flash. Oh man, and the sun's out. <sighs> yeah, I'm going to keep fishing, making most of this little window. I used to fish this side a lot years ago on foot um, when you could still get access to it. Um, and you just have some great fishing through the summer. You get some good sight fishing. Fish just cruise along these edges and you just poke around and stalk them. Never fished it like this, but oh my god, that's worth it.
Twitch. Uh, I did not press record. Yeah, I'm just an idiot. I'm just wondering how many times I'm gonna do that. Just not press record, think it's on, not pay attention and all that kind of stuff. That's annoying, it was a really nice fish. About six pound or so, just solid, really good condition. Just been drifting this shoreline and just banging streamers into the edge and then dragging them back. I'm just like you guys do in the States when you're drifting rivers and put streamers into the margins. Seems to be working really well. So I'm gonna try and pick up another fish and then actually Press record on the camera so you get to see it. Uh, rain looks like it's going to be rolling in pretty soon over there, over that way. But for the most part, this is about as sheltered as I can be, just kind of cruising down doing this. So hopefully, I can pick up another good fish and actually, uh, you know, get it on camera. Yes! Woo! Oh, f it was a good fish. Bust me off. I knew I should have retied that fly. That's really annoying because that fish, well, it was a really good fish. Easily five, five, six pound. But the reason I lost that fish is because I didn't retie the knot after that last fish. And I fucking looked at it, man. I looked at it and I thought about it for like half a second. And I was like, nah, she'll be right. But man, that's a bullshit way to lose a fish because um, I know better. And I thought about it, and I almost did it. That was dumb. Yeah man, once he puts a bit of condition on, he's gonna be a beast. fish. Cool colours. Look at that. I'm going to get him back. First up, foremost, I apologise for the lack of b-roll and anything other than GoPro footage, but it was pretty shitty weather day. In fact, right now, it is about the nicest it's been all day. There's a nice little breeze on there, the blue sky, which is pretty good, it's not raining. So, I struggled all morning without, without anything. Without a nudge, without a bang, without a bump, without a fish. But then, just after lunch, I got that really good fish, like tank fish, and then from there, it was kind of patchy, but I kind of kept moving around and I kept looking and I kept trying stuff. And I ended up with actually a really good afternoon. I don't know how many fish I got. Hopefully I got enough to make some kind of a video for you. I'll put something together. Probably won't be my best one, but hopefully it was enough to keep you watching to this point. So I'm all loaded up, as you can see. Just made myself a road coffee and time to head home. I guess the main thing to take away from today was basically, if you're not catching fish, if you're not finding fish, keep changing stuff up you know change your location change your method change your flies change your depth change your drift change your retrieve just just change stuff up keep mixing shit up until you either find fish or you've had enough and you go home <laughs> basically don't keep doing the same thing if it ain't working because i mean it's dumb thanks heap for tuning in guys Real good to see you again. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Drop me a comment in the comment section below. And if you haven't subscribed, what are you doing? Hit the button. Well, the season started. The weather's been shocking, but it can't last forever. It's got to get better at some point. I'm out of here. I've got a long drive home. Time to go. Have a great week, guys. Have a good weekend, and I'll see you on Tuesday.